Hey everybody, that's my cat in the background, and today I have a video for you about how to quickly sample and get to know your flavors. So let's get right into it. Alright guys, so one of the hardest parts of putting together a recipe is finding the right percentages and where to start and what flavors you're going to need to achieve the recipe you're looking for. One thing that I have found to be the best way to put together a recipe and get to know your flavors, which is a really important thing. You need to get to know your flavors. And the way I do that is I take every one of my flavors and make single flavor 10 ml batches. So Right now, I'm going to make one because I haven't done one from, for a pair yet. So, I'm going to make a single flavor batch for pear. Alright. And I'm going to just take a 10 ml bottle. these 10 ml batches what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the flavors all at 15% flavoring and I'm also not gonna put nicotine in them and I'm gonna show you why this is a good way to test your flavors so first obviously I'm gonna shake it and so in a 10 ml batch 15% is 1.71 grams so I'm gonna put that in real quick so the flavoring's in. Now, I don't know if you follow me on Facebook, but I made a quick pre-mix. In other words, I put PG and VG into a separate bottle, and I prepared it in this because this tip allows me to put all the base in a lot faster. It's very convenient if you're doing this. So you watch just how fast it goes. Okay, let's try that again. So I'll keep it right here, and basically, this just allows me to do it a lot faster. It's hard to hold it up to the camera to show you. There we go. All done. I didn't mess around with the video or anything. That's just how fast it is. Now if I was doing it with the other bottle, it would take a little bit longer. But, it makes it so I don't have to measure the VG to PG, and it also makes it so I can fill it a lot quicker. So now I'm just going to take it and shake it like you normally do. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a label on it like the other one and label it peach. And now, so why this is very good is because, now say I'm going to make a recipe, pear and peach juice, okay? and I have my RDA and I'm trying to think of you know what ingredients would I want so what I would do is I would take these ingredients these pre-made testers and I would drip them on my RDA and I could drip like one drop of you know grape candy I could drop one drop of peach I could drop one drop of caramel and so on and so forth and then that way it'll help give me a better idea um, of what each flavor is going to taste like right in the moment and then that way I can it can help me you know in my thought process of making my recipe so basically this is good you know when you're in the process phase of making your recipes and getting to know what things will taste like um, this is just something that I have found to be helpful um, just as a reminder, because yeah, you can smell each flavor, but that's not necessarily going to give you the full vaping experience. So, this is just a little tip, and a quick video just to show you, um, that there are some ways to test your flavors. Also, with testing your flavors while they're steeping, that's also a very important part of this game. You're going to want to test your flavors after a certain many day interval, like 3 days, 12 days, 14 days, if it's custard, sometimes even longer. And, you know, it, it, it's a process, but 
I hope this video helped you guys out. Um, please like and subscribe. And if you guys aren't already into the Facebook DIY group, go check it out. I'll leave a link in the description. Um, I'm there a lot of the time, and there's a lot of other great people there that can help you out making your recipes or getting to know your flavors better. Uh, it's generally just a great group, and a lot of people there are happy to help. So again, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. You guys have yourselves a great day.